what is going on people i bought myself something that i would consider to be a bit of a detailing luxury item it's a max shine wheeled ollie i bought it from carzilla.ca it's on sale for like 180 dollars i think canadian and it's definitely one of those items where you don't need it per se but it's going to be nice to have so i'm going to get this thing unboxed and put it together and then we'll take a look at it and see what kind of quality this thing can give us for 180 bucks so stay tuned All right, I'm gonna carefully get this thing unboxed. Hopefully, I know there's some parts that are painted black, so hopefully, I'm not gonna scratch anything here. I am running out of daylight. Sun sets in like 20 minutes or less here. So if it gets dark, my apologies in advance. I should, I should probably put my knife away before I cut myself on camera. Sweet, so it is a box within a box. Let's just open this. I will put you on a tripod in just a moment. All right, so that's what the actual box itself looks like. It says Max Shine, all for detailing. Take a look at that. So that's the deal right there. Spins the wheel, then you can do the coating or whatever on it so now i'll put it on the tripod and we'll see what this thing includes and we'll see how easy or difficult it is to assemble now i just realized that my microphone is dead because i didn't charge it so this is just straight up iphone audio hopefully it's not too bad well let's get this thing unboxed and for anyone interested in trying out a product like this or anything from carzilla you can use the discount code car detailing five like always and for most things on their website you can save five percent i say most because not everything is uh, a part of that Carefully cut this open. I don't want to, again, like I mentioned, I don't want to scratch anything. <clears throat> Let's see what we got. All right, so they do give you a bit of foam. That's going to prevent uh, scratching of whatever painted parts are in here. Come on, there we go. I also have other discount codes which you can check out if you want. I have Ethos, DIY Detail, Shine, or not Shine Armor, that's a, that's that one I just unboxed. Armor Detail Supply. <clears throat> and all the discount codes get you 10% off and they're all TCDC10, like ACDC, TCDC10. So anyways, we've got this protective cover here, which is a nice little added touch. So if you do cut the box open, you'll cut into this. We got instruction manual for assembly. Pretty standard stuff. Lots of little nuts and bolts here. You need a Phillips. You probably need a 12 or 13 mil, I'd assume, for a wrench. Let's take a look. So you get kind of everything laid out. and then you can Just make sure you're still in the frame. Yep. That's the heavy part right there. Okay, so that's the backing. Let's just put that to the side. I did read some reviews and some people were complaining about certain fit and finish and paint being chipped off. So if I get that in this one, I'll, I will report that to you. There's another one of the uh, 14 inch rollers there. But I was kind of debating building one of these on my own. Cause you can get these like 12 inch rollers for like 25 bucks a piece at Princess Auto, which is, if you're in the USA, that's kind of like Harbor Freight in Canada. But I'm like, <clears throat> three rollers, that's 75 bucks already, plus time and effort and other material, and it's probably gonna look like shit. Oh shit, I should swear. There's another one. Get rid of this foam. As I'm taking these out, I'm kind of inspecting all the pieces, making sure that nothing is missing or nothing appears to be missing. So they will give you uh, all the tools you need to assemble it in the bag. But if you have better tools, 
will definitely save you a lot of time. And then the last piece here, right there is another one of these. I'm just kind of, yeah, I mean, check that out. Right out of the bag, there's already paint chipped off. So, I mean, if I plan on washing wheels with this thing, this is definitely gonna be a bit of a concern. So we'll see in a long-term review how it holds up. Now, there's all the pieces laid out. I don't think I wanna bore you with the assembly of this product, so I'm just gonna get it all assembled. I might film it, I might not, we'll see. And then we'll come back and we'll see what it looks like. So there's all the pieces. It's 7.10 right now, PM. So I'll get this done and report how long it takes. All right, I was gonna quickly start assembling it and then I started to look at all the nuts and bolts that they give you. And I wanna show you something here that speaks to the quality of this product. And look how cheap these look. So these are the, the nuts here, they go on, um, there's like 20 of these probably, but Everything is kind of off center. And now I did expect this because this isn't the highest quality product. I don't think it really advertises that either. But, so you get in the bag, every tool, that's what you get in the bag for tools, right? Nothing fits this. You get the smaller version, which will fit the smaller nuts. But these weirdos, nothing fits. And you know what's even better? So check this out. Half inch, 9 16th. Half ain't gonna work. 9 16th, way too big. 13, not gonna work. 14, way too big. So it's like a 13.5 millimeter nut. What were they thinking? Before I even get going on the assembly, that just blows my mind. Um, aside from that, there's paint chipping on this piece, that piece, and that piece. I haven't even checked the rest. But either way, I'm not gonna return it. Just gonna live with it. I might put some touch-up paint on it, but it is what it is. All right, we're done. Time. It's 7.35. I don't know what time I started. Say around 6.55 maybe? I don't know. So you build it in like 20 minutes. If you're not distracted by the bad quality. All right, so we're all assembled now, obviously. I think that took less than 20 minutes because the video's only been going on for 20 minutes. Obviously, you're not gonna watch in 20 minutes of it because it's gonna be sped up a bit, but uh, there you have it. So a couple of things I do like, a couple of things I don't like, just from a first uh, kind of impression standpoint. I do like that these rollers are angled back because otherwise what happens when the wheel spins It'll tend to walk forward or all the way back if this was completely flat. 
obviously in this case this upper roller would stop that now that's pretty much what i like i guess the price isn't bad 180 bucks is not bad but what i don't like now hopefully obviously the lighting sucks because like i said the sun's kind of going down here i don't know if you can tell but that's kind of flimsier than i expected it to be i guess but we'll see how it kind of holds up i got everything torqued down assembly was rather easy aside from the fact that those kind of the nuts the bigger ones are kind of weirdly shaped and uh, they're not really a 14 they're not a good fitting 14 they're definitely not a 13 and they're not any of the imperial sockets either but uh, nonetheless got everything done got it done pretty quick I'm not going to test it out right now but uh that was basically assembly and first impressions of this product. I can already tell you how I think I'm going to make an improvement on this product, which is I might uh, drill the holes out bigger where the feet go and put some casters on the bottom, some some walking casters to kind of roll this thing around because it's going to be, uh, let's see how heavy it is actually. I can't imagine this is going to be something that you're always going to want to transport. You're probably going to want to keep it in a spot and then kind of keep it there. Let's see. Is it all in the shot? Yeah, I'll put just about. Ah, it's pretty light it's not that heavy at all but still even though it's not that heavy i think i'd still put some cheap casters you can get it from home depot for like 10 bucks each or less even put one on each one kind of upgrade this thing a little bit but time will tell how it'll hold up i'll probably do some wheel cleaning if i get time here shortly and then some ceramic coating as well but other than that the assembly was fairly easy you saw how many of the pieces had uh, chips and stuff right out of the box. So quality wise, not the best, but it's cute. All right, there it is in all its glory, I guess. All assembled, all ready to go. And I got a wheel on there and that's just a little Honda Civic wheel. Let me give you the size of that wheel. So you kind of have an idea of what it looks like. So it's a 215 55R17. It's a 17 inch wheel, not the widest, but look how much, space it takes up right so if you have a if you have like a 315 or like a corvette wheel or something you're not this is not the product for you but uh just to quickly demonstrate put the wheel on there like i did and it just lets you kind of spin it very simple nothing more to it and so far i mean you kind of the best use case for something like this would be let me turn my light back on this is just the floodlight but anyways, so the best use case for something like this would be like if you're ceramic coating a set of wheels, for example, or you're doing a wheel off detail and you're cleaning the wheels. But honestly, I think this is just going to complicate things a little bit for the cleaning process. I would still kind of do that off the car, but for coatings and whatnot, I think this would probably benefit you a little bit. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this is a detailing luxury item. You don't really need it, but it's one of those things that's kind of cool to have. So there you have it. This was a first impressions. This was an unboxing, a little bit of assembly, a little bit of a rant. Let me know in the comments what you think of this product. Have you used it? Would you recommend it? How long has it lasted you? All that kind of good stuff. Again, discount codes down in the description for Carzilla, for Armor, Detail Supply, DIY Detail, and Ethos actually. So the discount codes, if you use them, it helps support the channel. And honestly, it does go a long, long way, but either way, I appreciate each and every single one of you that watch, and I'll see you in the next one.